Brian Evans, Evans in the morning. Good morning, dogs. We are back. Happy Wednesday. After the pledge, we'll be talking about school board, how to go the week, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's World Suicide Prevention Week, and at FHS, we care about every single one of our students. We want to you to know that you are important, you matter, your voice matters, and you are not alone. And though life can be hard sometimes, it won't be like that forever, and everything in life is figure outable. If you are interested in be, being an agent of change and support to those in school, please come by the counseling office and pick up some supplies to help yourself and those in need. This week, we want to focus on prevention, and one of the key ways to prevent suicide is through emotional regulation and self-care. Did you know that deep breathing has many positive effects on your physical and mental health? Though it may feel unnatural to breathe deeply, the practice comes with various benefits. Deep breaths are more efficient. They allow your body to fully exchange incoming oxygen without going carbon dioxide. They have also been shown to slow the heartbeat, lower or stabilize blood pressure, and lower stress. As always, if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health or suicide ideation, please dial 988 for a 24-7 Suicide and Crisis Hotline. I want to say congratulations to the following students who had worked on the display, who had worked on the display at the school board meeting last night. Those students are Valeria Santos, Salvador Carrillo, Mariana Rosado, Hera, Ibrahim Valdez, Michelle Squidino, Kimberly Moreno, Ebony Hera, Armando Valdez Alanis, Kenzie Jagger, Paige Butcher, Coco Nakakita, Kimberlyn Martinez Martinez, and Pauline Rezio. Great job on the amazing art. And now this week's hot of the week in ninth grade is Chloe Kingma, in tenth grade Aaron Johns, eleventh grade Morgan Harrison, and twelfth grade Paige Butcher. And your staff hot of the week is Miss Rushington. Congrats to all of you, and thank you for your kindness. And now let's send it to sports to the most intelligent, snazziest, jazziest, incredible man, Aiden Hudspeth. Yo, 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 it's hump day. Y'all, we had an absolutely crazy night last night, filled with a whole bunch of these. So buckle in, everyone. Last night, we're going to start it off with the boys' tennis team, taking a conference win last night against North Ma with a score of 4-1. to one. This takes the Hot Dogs to 3-2 and two in conference play. Coach Calvert says Jackson Ray did a great job and scored the first point of the night. Next off were two doubles, Kelby and Isai. One doubles, Carson Hale and Charlie Beardsley had a thrilling three-set match. The duo stayed tough and earned point number three for the team. At one singles, HDTV's very own, Edward Wayne Scott played with maturity as he continues to lead the team by playing with confidence and patience to win his nail-biter in two sets. Edwin's match then gave the Hot Dogs point number four. Out of boy, dogs. Way to go win one out at home. Their next match is tonight at Carroll, starting at 5.30. Next up, the girls' soccer team played here at home against conference opponent Southmont. Coach Field writes that the first goal of the night happened about 25 minutes into the game when Rachel Garcia took a two long dribbles off a Natalie Cruz pass and put a high shot on the Mountie goal goalie. The lead didn't last long when the Mounties scored two goals to take the lead going into halftime. The Hot Dogs got their equalizer goal with 10 minutes left to play when Natalie gathered the ball in the center of the field and ripped a shot toward the upper 90 that the goalie didn't even attempt to save. The Lady Hot Dogs survived a late scare when the Mountie, goal banged off, when the Mountie shot banged off the goal post into Vanessa Guardado's arms, which took the game into overtime. The Hot Dogs controlled most of the first overtime period that showed when Natalie scored her second goal of the night in a similar fashion to Rachel's goal in the first half. Amazing job on your 3-2 overtime win, ladies. That's incredible. Speaking of the girls' soccer team, our on-site crew of Doug Wood and Kai Kirby caught up with them pretty recently. Take it away, boys. Me and Kai caught up with the girls' soccer team this past week, and Kai sat down with Mr. Field, and this is what he had to say. What's up, dogs? Your favorite weatherman's here with Coach Fields. How's it feel being your um, eighth year of coaching? Um, it's a little interesting feeling that old now, having you know 
younger cousins and even younger sisters um, of girls that I coached in like my first or second year. So I've known girls since like they were in the second grade and now that I'm coaching them, it definitely ages you as a coach and a teacher. Uh, goals for the season is to advance in sectionals and to everyone to have better communication in between each other and for the underclassmen to step up and show leadership. Um, my goals for this season are to pretty much connect as a team and, you know, hopefully win some games from that. Um, also, um, like the whole team to just, like I said, connect and, yeah. How do you think this season's gone so far? Um, well, it's kind of been a start and stop. We've had a lot of weather interruptions. We've only managed to play four games, but overall I've been fairly pleased with the effort um, that the girls have given. You know, we've gotten a couple wins, and even in our losses, we've played some pretty competitive losses. So it's been encouraging for us, that's for certain. So far, we've been maintaining a good season. Um, I think it could improve, but as we haven't played much with each other, um, I think we have potential to improve. Uh, the season is actually going pretty good um, comparing to last year. It's... Um, definitely like more connecting um we you know our first game against logan sport we beat them compared to last year which was 5-2 so that's something we've um liked what's your outlook on the rest of the season well with all the rescheduled conference games the schedule itself is kind of daunting just from having to play just about every other game or every other day now um but overall i see the girls still seem pretty confident and upbeat along with myself on having a successful and should hopefully be a winning season. My expectations for this season are to get better communication and to become a better team by showing leadership and being comfortable with each other, knowing that we can depend on one another. My expectations for this season is for everyone to have better communication skills with the whole team, better bonding, um, and for us to have a winning season record, and for everyone to, to for the un upperclassmen to have um, leadership roles so the underclassmen can lead to an example. Thank you, Coach Field, and good luck on the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you get out and check out one of their games this season. Go dogs. Thanks, fellas. What a great interview. It's always great to hear firsthand how the players and the coaches are feeling when they're in season. But next up, the volleyball team also got a huge win last night against the Blackhawks of Sheridan. Coach Rustin says for the JV, Melanie Sandoval Mejia had nine aces, and Chloe Kingma had four, a four assists and three aces. Chloe Mounty had two aces and a kill. Ellie Perez had an ace and a kill, and Aaron Wills had two aces. Jasmine Valdez had two aces and three digs. And then for the varsity, Justine Thomas led in kills with 14, paired with 26 assists and four blocks from Jalen Smith. Lily Rockhold had 11 kills, and Brooklyn Perry had six kills and three blocks. Caroline Queen had six assists and 16 digs, and Morgan Harrington picked up seven digs and four aces. Ashley Zhang had four aces and 10 digs. Ella McAtee had four aces and three kills, and Addie Keck had three aces and seven digs. Outstanding job, ladies. I can say that I had some fun cheering last night. And last but not least, the boys' soccer team also played here at home against Southmont with a score with a winning score of three to two. Coach Tyson says, despite many new starters and others playing in new positions, Frankfurt gets another conference win, remaining undefeated in conference play. Scoring two goals was Daniel Bustos, one of which was assisted by Julian Luz, and scoring the third goal was Sebastian Mora. Wow. 4-0, and oh, all at home and all dubs. Yesterday, I even remember saying that I hoped re to be reporting in on a lot of Ws with everyone being at home, and I think that worked out pretty well. And majority of the games were conference games. Amazing job, everyone. Let's keep this rolling. That wraps up sports for today. What a night. Hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see everyone here tomorrow. Now to Mr. Bad Mood for Weather. Thanks, Aiden. Good morning, dogs. It's hump day. Today we will have a mix of clouds and sun. The low today will be 44, the high today will be 71. 
The humidity will be 72%. The wind is nine miles per hour. That's it for the weather. Have an amazing Wednesday, hot dogs. Now back to your host. Tomorrow, the Indiana University in Indianapolis will be coming tomorrow during sixth period. They will be in the student services conference room, so make sure to be there if you are interested. For the trivia's winner from yesterday's question, what movie was filmed in our very own Case Arena? And the answer was Blue Chips. And the winner is Juan Garcia Chavez. Congrats, man. Also, there's a column meeting for both chess and crash. If you guys are interested for chess, then come to room 102 right after school. And for crash, you guys will be meeting in the calibration room right after school as well. For today's lunch, in lines one and two, is chicken snap wrap, and in line three, is salad bar, with potato soup, and in line four, we have cheese pizza crunchers. A special happy birthday goes out to Miguel Carrasco Hernandez, Vilma Lopez, Leila Marica, Saira E. Vasquez Ramos, and Emerald Wallace. That is all for the morning announcements. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys tomorrow.